video highlights hysteroscopic approach to intrauterine adhesions in a 32-year-old Gravita 1 para 0010 patient with secondary amenorrhea after first trimester loss and blind DNC. Upon entry into the endometrial cavity, scar tissue was initially noted on the right corneal region. With hysteroscopic scissors, scar tissue is taken down slowly and gradually towards the corneum. No bleeding is typically noted if the surgeon is in the right plane incising scar tissue, as is shown here. Slowly and gradually, we make our way to the corneum without any complication. Calcified areas are noted in the corneum, which is consistent with previous retained products of conception. As the hysteroscope is guided across the fundus to the left side, the tubal ostium is noted. However, scar tissue is noted in the midline, which is taken down with hysteroscopic scissors, as can be seen here. We continue cutting into the areas of scar tissue at the fundus till vessels are noted. Finally, a complete survey of the endometrial cavity revealed further scar tissue in the mid-uterine cavity on the left side that is taken down with hysteroscopic scissors, as can be noted here. Again, if the surgeon is in the correct plane, no bleeding is noted as scar tissue is completely avascular. Slowly and gradually, we make our way towards the corneum, as can be noted here. At the end of the case, the anatomy of the endometrial cavity is restored with both tubal ostia visualized in the same field.